Hello viewers, and welcome to my next Let's Play. Replacing the Snowy Bear series. This is another old game, childhood favorite of mine. Right off the bat, we have some spooky vibes with the, the bats and everything. I'm acting like it's a surprise, even though you guys already read the title to the video, but uh, yeah. One of the best licensed games ever made, Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights. <laughs> Let's go, alright. This game is a treat to Scooby-Doo fans. I swear the actual game looks better than this, don't, <laughs> don't judge the graphics just yet. Oh, I'm getting copyright stri striked for sure. I don't even care. <laughs> I don't want to ruin this magnificent theme song. Night of 100 Frights, let's go! Now, I've always wondered, what came out of his mouth at the end there? <laughs> was that just a really poorly rendered, like, smile? Or... It looked like a metallic, like, cone came out of his mouth. I don't understand. Anyway, Scooby-Doo, Night of 100 Frights. This is... One of the best licensed games ever made. It's by THQ and Renderware. They did... Some great games, like SpongeBob SquarePants, Battle for Bikini Bottom. Another great one. Um, definitely gonna play that one in the future. But yeah, let's look at our options here. Uh... You know, everything's probably in place how I like it, but, uh... Yeah, I think we're good. I'm gonna lower the sound effects just a little bit. I don't even know if that saves. Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. We're in the Mystery Machine right now, by the way. Pretty cool stuff. Um, this theatrical trailer is actually a trailer for the live-action movie, so we're not gonna watch that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started here. Mystery Machine Part 1. There they are. You smell that salty sea air, Scoob? You know what that means, buddy. What does it mean? Yeah. The actual voice actors, by the way. Jesus. All right, you two. Don't forget the real reason we're here. Yeah, come on, focus. No, silly. We're here to solve a mystery. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This game looks way worse than I remembered it looking, but that's okay. There's strange goings on up here at her family home, Mystic Manor. That's just a 2D image that they're magnifying. <laughs> Uh, look, it's Holly. There are, uh, believe it or not, there's guest stars in this. Hey, Holly. Like actual celebrities. Hey, Daphne. I'm so glad you could make it. And you must be she's one of them. I don't remember who she is, though. Wow. The there's a few. Thing. I've heard so much about you. Daphne's kept me up to date on all of your cases. So I figured my mystery would be right up your alley. Your house is moving on its own. Did you see that? The windows? It's my uncle. Famous inventor, Professor Alexander Graham. He was just about Bell? to unveil some new top secret invention when he disappeared without a trace. Perfectly perfectly timed howl. No one will help me search the premises. It don't tell me. Because it's haunted, right? It's gotta be, it's Scooby Doo. Yeah, Shaggy. How'd you know? Because it's always haunted. I feel like the writing is on par with the show, right? The original show? You look around. It's good. You said it, Daphne. We're not afraid. Right, gang? Wrong. <laughs> like me and Scoob have seen this show before. This game did scare me as a kid. Go poking around scaring up some spooksters. But we're staying right here in the old mystery machine. Only ghost-free environments for us. Yes, you said it. Roast me is the way to be. Okay, you scaredy cats. Stay here if you want. Come on, guys. 
See you later. Bye bye. <laughs> you know, Scoob, I could really go for a. It, it, things quickly go south. Like, this is where everything goes to shit in like two seconds. Fair warning. Well, what do you know? Scooby Snacks. Hey there, Scoob. Wait up. Leave some for me. Score directly from the, the show, by the way. Something smells fishy here. Not fishy, pal. Scooby Snacky. Raggy. Wait. Gee, Scoob, it's not like they got your name all over them. Yeah, well, actually, um. they <laughs> <laughs> And he's fucking dead. That is the last we see of Shaq. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, so that's how the game starts. Uh, we're in it now. See, am I crazy, or does the in-game engine look better than the pre-rendered cutscenes? It's the opposite, usually, these days. Anyway, uh... This is Mystic Manor. The, this is the the front yard, the hub, where the Mystery Machine is. Um, but yeah, Shaggy fell into this little pit over here, and he's missing now. Um, but anyways, uh... Basically, you just wander around, try to figure out what happened, and you collect these Scooby Snacks. The cool thing about these Scooby Snacks, once you collect them, they never reappear. There's a finite amount of Scooby Snacks in the entire game, and you need them to open these locks. For example, I need 25 to go in there. Um, I can run if I hold down the shoulder button. Um, I can sprint if I hold down the B button. I can actually headbutt enemies and stun them. There's a key up there, but I can't reach it just yet. I need a double jump. Yeah, there's a power-up system and everything. Um, very fun game. Awesome locations that are reminiscent of the show. Uh, the enemies are all classic enemies. It's great. Well, I'm just gonna collect these Scooby Snacks over here, and then we'll move on to the tutorial stage. The Mystic Playground. Don't mind if I do. The Mystery Machine, part two. Oh yeah, here's one of the guest stars. Check it out. I, I don't remember his name, but he's a famous actor. Oh, he's not voice acted. He's voice acted in the cutscenes later on. Um, he's the he's the guy in Pleasantville. If you ever saw that movie, that like teleports them into the TV. Anyway. <coughs> Hello, Scooby. I'll give you some tips on some of the things you will find around Mystic Manor. Make tracks, Scooby-Doo. You can run faster by holding the R button. Yeah. So, lots to collect here. I'm going to skip these magnifying glasses because they're tutorials on how to play. I already know how to play. So, I'm just going to start collecting. The sandwich here will actually heal us up. Oh, we're not at full health. Interesting. They don't start you at full health. Ugh. Got it. So what I just collected there was a monster token. Uh, later on, we can actually see that monster um, in like a gallery. We can learn about it. Because um, it will be an enemy later on. I believe I collected the gargoyle just now, if you remember him from the original show. But yeah, there's a lot of fun things you can do. You can swing, there's ice physics, you know, it's pretty great. I mean, listen, listen to this music. How does this game not make you happy? <laughs> Look at this. Oh, holy shit. Whoa! Damn, Scooby. You heard of mad scientists, right? Well, I'm what you call a mad groundskeeper. <laughs> there he is. That's the voice actor. They actually got the guy to voice him. Oh, that's so great. But yeah, there's, there's trampolines like this one. You know, you can go down slides. There's actually tar right here. The tar keeps you from running, and you can't jump in the tar. So the sandwich is here to show you that you can't actually collect it. Yeah, it sucks. The tar is a very dangerous hazard that we're going to have to deal with throughout the game. Here is a helicopter <laughs> pulling 
the tire swing. I I don't know how it can hold this much weight, <coughs> but it is. I'm still sick, Jesus. Oh, I want that last Scooby snack. Cause like I said, there's a finite amount. You can't just uh, you can't just grind Scooby snacks. Yeah, you, you have to collect every single one you find. Oh, there's a lot still there. Damn. I'll wait for the uh, the helicopter to come back or the drone, whatever you want to call it. Ah, uh, uh, you know it's not worth it for that one. I think it's fine. Rude, Jesus, dude. Anyway, we have way more than enough to open this lock on the front door of the the mansion. Uh, give me a second. Someone's at my door. I'm back. My uh, my family's ordering me some food, so that's very nice. Anyway, oh, here's a warp gate, by the way. When we activate it, we can teleport ourselves back here from other warp gates, and this saves the game. I might as well save while I'm here. Alright, cool. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but, uh, anyway. A little thing popped up saying I saved. Alright, snack gate unlocked. Let's go inside. I keep pushing the wrong button. Glamour in the manor. Glamour in the manor? Oh, that painting is changing. Hello? Is anyone out there? Uh. I need some help in here. Hello? Is that Daffy or her her cousin? Is anyone out there? I need some help in here. I need a key to open that. I think she's behind that door, so I'm gonna get the key that showed us at the beginning. Hello? Is anyone out there? Oh god! I need some help in here. Ugh. Alright, I just got it. Oh god! I was going batty. Scooby Doo. I'm so glad you found me. She looks like a Barbie doll. Oh, so much for that mystery. She's really scaring me. Thank you. Alright, so... We're gonna start seeing some enemies here. The bats are the first of many. Uh, they can be pretty dangerous because they can fly. Ah... Yeah, I need the double jump power up to get over there. Oh, there was a monster token up there. I don't know if you guys saw it. But we'll go this way. It's fine. Lots of secrets. For example, if you headbutt this book. Oh no, I can't headbutt it. I need a power up for that too. There's a secret passage here, but we can't actually uh, use it yet, sadly. All these uh, locations sound like episode titles, by the way, which is awesome. Oh, they put... I don't think I can get that. They put a, a box of Scooby Snacks over a pit. Oh, I just got it. Nice. Not sure how much the box of Scooby Snacks are worth, but, uh... Oh, I just died! Yep, I just died. <laughs> Bombless pits are a, uh... Insta-kill. Gotta be careful. I don't think we can get through the cobwebs yet. No, we need a power up for this stuff too. Oh, it's the headless inspector. Okay. I'm gonna name drop these baddies. Like this is the creeper right here. We got the the green ghost in that portrait there. And I think that's the guy that was in the green ghost costume. I don't know. But guess what? We have to leave because we do not have the power ups to progress. So you might be wondering where we go. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. Run, Scooby. We're actually gonna go... There, th this game is split into three main areas. The mansion, the docks, and the hedge maze. And I believe we go to the docks first. Oh, he's here now! Hi! Oh, but it's locked. 
Wait. The cove is where I go first, I think. Do you- can you tell me, like, what to do? I'll need a shovel. Oh, he gives it to me! That's awesome, he gives us our first power-up. Yes! And the power-up theme plays, it's kind of a banger. Anyways, with the shovel, we can dig up anywhere we see these flowers. And we'll find something helpful inside. I'm now at full health. So I can't collect this. So one of these flowers is hiding the key to the cove. Um, I'm sure it's the one near him. He's like so helpful to me and so rude. <laughs> nice! Alright, let's go. How long is this video? I don't want it to be like, too long. I'll record for like a few more minutes. Yeah, so the main... The different areas have like different enemies, you know, different assets and stuff. Oh, there's boxes of Scooby Snacks up there. I don't think I can jump that high though. They're teasing me. These jumps are actually scary when you don't have the double jump to like make sure you get across. Oh, here we can swing. We grabbed onto a bag of fish there. A bag? A net? We have flying fish here that are evil, apparently. Those are gonna pop up frequently. We got rats! Boom! I killed my first enemy. Yeah, the small enemies you can, uh... You can just kill very easily, but the larger enemies, like one we're about to see here... They're not as easy to kill. We have a caveman here. We can stun him, but that is it. We actually can't kill him as we are now. So I'm just gonna leave before he, like, beats my butt. Oh, I like how you can see the mansion in the background. Did you guys see that? That's kinda cool. It makes the world feel more connected, I guess. Yep. But here comes Shaggy on a pelican? What? I'm not gonna wait for the voice acting, I'm so sorry. Long story short, when you find Shaggy, you can pick him up and yeet him at stuff. So that's awesome. Oh no, I shouldn't have yeeted him though. Because I could have yeeted him at the box and he'd collect it for me. Damn. I can swing, maybe. Oh, but this can only go side to side. Oh, do you guys think I can reach that from there? <laughs> so silly, I love it. Nah, I probably can't collect it. Oh well. We can get it when we get the double jump at some point. <coughs> Excuse me for the coughing. Alright. Yeah, Shaggy doesn't stick with us. It's just like momentary things like that. Oh, please don't. Oh! He just caved my skull in there. Ah! Uh, I don't want to fall either, is the thing. How did you get here? I only needed 50 for that, so we're, we're good. I think I'll stop this video when I get the, the double jump power up. I think it's a good place to to end it. Fear on the pier. You'll notice the parts don't always add up, like we're at part two before part one. That's because this is not a linear game, and you can explore it in a pretty random order once the ball gets rolling. Right now it's kind of railroaded, but anyways, I'm on tar right now, so I actually can't jump and get that stuff. It sucks, but uh, we're not at our full strength just yet. We will be. Da, 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 da. We have Captain Cutler back there. Oh, we have a couple Captain Cutlers. Now, that might seem like totally random, but 
as the game progresses, there's actually an explanation for why we're seeing some classic enemies returning, and why there might be more than one of them. Yes, we got the springs. And now we can double jump, check it out. Very nice, we can reach new heights, we can jump farther than ever before, and this... ...is where I'm gonna end the video. <laughs> hey look, we're 1% done. Actually. Maybe it's more than that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is one of my favorite games ever. Uh, it's been a long time since I played it, so I do see how it's aged a little bit. But the nostalgia goggles for me are enough to keep going, so hopefully you guys are able to enjoy this. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.